Hey there, YouTubers. I've been busy with other life stuff, so I haven't done a video in a little bit. So um, I have a thrift store video coming up because that's why you see the carpet here. So we'll start off with something. This is just a cheap little rain poncho. Looks like it's never been used because if you've ever taken one of these out of the bag, you know they're tough to get back in the bag this well, so it hasn't been used. Four bucks originally. And this is a 25% off day, so 25% off is 69 cents. Always something good to throw in my RV. So that's a good deal. All right, the next is a bag. The thrift store I go to has all these bags hanging all around the store. Um, there are two can openers and an ice cream scoop in this. Can openers are good ones, are hard to find and expensive. This was... Uh, Six bucks, but with 25% off, that makes it what 450. And I took them out to try them, so I'll show you. This one is awesome. It's uh, this one works great. I just have a hard time finding decent can openers. I know it's something silly. This one is okay. So for 450, I think that was a pretty good can opener. And this will go back to the thrift store because if somebody's looking for an okay can opener, they'd be happy to have this. And an ice cream scoop. I don't eat as much ice cream as I should. Now I have a better scoop. <laughs> In my last video, I showed that I found some um, shampoo that you just put in your hair. You don't have to rinse it or anything, which would be good for when you're RVing. Well, this was on the next trip. And I'm guessing wherever they got the last one from, I, they had this one. But these are rinse-free shampoo cloths. Um, I got comments in the last one that, that that shampoo can be flammable. So when I take my next trip and I go to uh, do my campfire, we're going to see if that stuff's flammable. And we'll see if this is also flammable. The package was marked 6 bucks, And this is 25% off at $0.69. Cents. Again, I don't know if I'm going to use them, but for the RV... They might come in handy if I find out that they work. All right, the next thing is something I really don't do very often is clothes. I usually don't get a lot of clothes there, but most people do. And my washer doesn't care where the clothes came from. It'll wash them just the same. But these are uh, Buckeye shorts that were in good, good shape. And uh, on that note, I think Buckeyes got kind of a, a raw deal. I still think they should have been ranked number one just because they struggled a little bit in the first half and demolished the team in the second half. But that's neither here nor there. They're going to have a tough game with Clemson. We'll see what happens. These were marked down, again, to $0.69, cents, which is not even what I paid because it was sale day. And they were marked down from 3 bucks. So, OH. All right, this little bag had something that always comes in handy for me. It had a battery pack in it you can get these super cheap now they're um people give them just as uh promotional stuff and this bag was uh three dollars which is two and a quarter i'm gonna plug it in and see if it works i plugged it in and the light showed that it's charging also it had two door they just throw random stuff in here they had two door handles, which I might actually be able to use one of these. And a super cheap pair of headphones that I, I doubt I'll use. But I wanted that little battery pack thing. Um, one of these shoe tubs for 75 cents. That's a good deal for those. Clean. This is for my house. It's one of those glass cutting boards. has feet on it. Um, it's probably going to be under my coffee pot. And it was also two and a quarter on sale day. I'm going to try this one. I have a couple of these. These are uh, wind shades and my cat has to ride on my lap when I'm driving and sometimes that's a bad thing. This one has one suction cup on it so I might be able to put it there a little bit easier than trying to rig up what I currently have and 25% off of 69 cents. Four. For a buck fifty. I found this uh, insert that I can put on my grill would be good for vegetables. And I also have a relative that might use this if I find out it's not something that I really want to use. This is something that I didn't need at all. It's not going into my RV, but it keeps my New York roots 
and if I get drunk for you, you'll sound, you'll hear me sound like I'm from New York. It was originally 11 bucks, and it was uh, 75 cents. Um, interesting fun fact, my step-grandfather, I guess would be, on my father's side, when he was young, he helped build the Chrysler building. I don't know what he did there, but that's the story I was told. A uh, little thing here, you know, for extension cords, 75 cents. These come in handy. I have one that I don't wrap very well, so this might help me. And here is a cool thing. I have a an air pump, a 12-volt air pump, but it's really big. So it can be a hassle. I store it in the back end of the RV. It can be a hassle to get to it. And a small Class B, the rule is you have to move everything to get to everything. Mine has great storage, but you always have to move stuff. Well, this is a lot smaller. It was $6 on sale day, which makes it $4.50. And uh, we're going to see if it works now. There's my Duracell battery pack. Open this up. It's plugged in. All right. And there's air coming out of it. So that is going to be convenient. Because basically every trip I go on, I end up having to put some air in the bike tires. Um, and I just have to decide if I want to keep the bigger ones in case I need to fill up the RV tires. Usually if you have to do that, it, it is a much better idea to uh, go to a gas station or something because you need a pretty big compressor to blow up car tires. But this will come in handy for the bike. Last and not least, this is an Oryx XL that, again was six dollars which is 450 on sale day i might use this in my house for a while to do stairs and stuff like that because i have the one gallon shop vac that i use in the rv that i love but oryx are really good and i know somebody who could use a vacuum in their rv so they will probably get that but uh let's plug this in and see if it works all right we're gonna plug it in oh plugged in We'll turn it on. Again, thrift store I go to, not only does it have really good deals, it has places where you can plug electric stuff in. Hope we're in there, we'll move it down a little bit. So we'll turn it on. It's gonna be loud, I'll edit it. That's got pretty good power. holding that. All right. So that was a good deal. That works. All right, let me reset up. All right, so that was a thrift store video. I think I found some good deals. I think I also admit that at times it becomes a problem. <laughs> I, I see useful stuff in too many different things at times. But again, I have no regrets on the stuff I find. And I enjoy the hunt. It's become one of my rituals to go there and try to find stuff. Oh, I also found these uh, light bulbs, save the planet kind of light bulbs. Two of them for 75 cents and these little smaller bulbs. I think another uh, useful trip to the thrift store, some things for use in my RV, my house, and some useful for other people that will take these and maybe go, yeah, thanks. Or maybe go, oh, thanks. And I think there's a couple, oh, thanks in there. But I do find useful stuff there. And a lot of times when it's not useful for me, I know other people that it's useful for. And sometimes it's a fail. But I think this is going to be useful for somebody else. At $4.50, I think I, I will make somebody happy. Now, I've said before, I used to be against thrift stores. I'm not going to buy used people's junk. Well... Once you go a little bit, you find out, yes, there is a lot of junk in a thrift store. But there's also some good stuff. And that's what you're searching for. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great and wonderful day.